so I'm going to be doing another shopping haul video. I've got like this much space to sit in between me and everything else that I'm going to be showing you guys. So we just basically did a quick shopping haul um, today. We had to go pick up some groceries. My husband is on vacation this week and we're just kind of hanging around the house so we had to pick up some things for dinner from Walmart and then um, yesterday we had went to Kohl's because I'd had $10 Kohl's cash from when I went shopping the week before and um, had to pick up a few things for Caleb so um, I was going to show you guys what we got there and uh, yeah so I guess to get started I will go ahead and show you guys what we got from Kohl's. Um, I had got Lily these really cute pair of actually no let me go back I had went to Baby Zeros before I went to Kohl's because I had to get Lily's formula, her diapers, and her wipes, and I wanted to go on ahead and grab her Thanksgiving outfit. I was going to go to Crazy 8 see if they had anything, but I didn't see where they had anything online, so I didn't want to mess with fighting the mall traffic. And um, I seen the same outfit last year whenever I was looking for stuff when I was pregnant with Lily, but the only one they had left was in 18 months, and I was like, oh, wow. So, um, I got her this, which I gotta go back and I gotta get the pants. I completely was not thinking when I got this. I was like, oh, that's a cute little dress outfit. I was like, but wait, um, she's gotta have pants. You know, it's gonna be a little chilly. It's just a onesie, as you can see. Um, and then this tutu is attached to it. But the pants are this color, and they have this turkey on the butt part of it. And it's got the little sequins um, attached to it. So, I've gotta go back and get that. But this was $19.99 and I used my, um, what was it, a 20% off, so it was like $17 with tax. So it wasn't too bad, I saved myself a few dollars. Um, but it says my first Halloween, or first Thanksgiving, there's the back of it. I did get these little shoes because I actually didn't know that they had pants that went to it. Because the pants that go to it are footed, so you can't wear shoes with them. Um, and... Because I didn't notice that, I had, um, I originally was just going to have her wear her um, pink or white pantyhose and then wear her some little dress shoes. And then I got to thinking, but wait a minute, because if you look closely at this, you're going to be able to see the crotch part of the onesie. <laughs> so I was like, she's got to wear pants with it. Um, but I had had bought her these shoes from Kohl's and they were on sale. Where did I put my tag? They were on sale at 60% off, originally $17, marked down to $680. And I thought they were cute. They're a size 2, and she can actually fit into these, and there's room in them. I just sold a pair of her um, blue and white ones that had like a little flower on the front toe, too. Um, I sold them this past weekend, or well, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Um, because they didn't fit her, and they were a size 2, but these actually do fit her, and she's got extra room in them, so, um, I guess it's just the brand, because these are Carter's, and the ones I sold were Koala Baby, and Koala Baby, I've noticed, runs really, really small on their stuff, so, um, I ended up getting this in nine months, so I hope it fits her by the end of next month, if not, I've still got the receipt, I'll take it back and get a 12 month, um, but got her these little cute shoes to go with it. Um, and then I got Caleb an outfit. He was in need of jackets and hoodies. So, um, we had picked him up a little jacket outfit. Um, he's actually wearing the pants right now, so I can't show you those, but you'll get the idea of what they look like when you see this. Um, here's the front. It's got Dusty the airplane on the back. And we got it in 4T. To be honest, I don't even remember how much we spent for the outfit. The jacket was separate than the pants. If I'm not mistaken, I think we paid around like $25 just for this outfit. Um, but it was cute and he was in need. So we got him that with the pants, which you can't see those because he's wearing them. Um, and then we had picked him up. Actually, I can tell you real quickly because I got my receipt. Okay, so for the, I wonder why they rung up tank tops. Huh, we didn't get no tank tops. Um, it was $18 for the, that's weird. Hang on. Oh, 
Well, something was eighteen, something was twelve, something was nine ninety nine. And her shoes, huh? Her shoes only rolling up is three dollars and forty cents. I just now seen that right here. And you can tell, I don't know what the this tank tops. I didn't get tank tops. Maybe they just rang up that way because rang <laughs> rung up that way because um, they were they were a on sale item. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, uh, we ended up getting him this hooded fleece, and I'm assuming this is the one that was nine ninety nine, which is crazy. Retails for eighteen. Yeah. Okay, this one was nine ninety nine. So I'm assuming that the pants were 18 and then the jacket here was 12. And then this is the fleece hoodie we got him as Jumping Beans. It says State Chimps, 1984. It's in a 4T also. And it's not a zip up, it's just a pullover. The hoodie. Very, very soft. I love this material. So I got him that. And that was everything from Kohl's. And also, guys, Kohl's is now doing the Yes to You rewards. Um, you used to, if you sign up for Kohl's online um, at their website, you get like a $5 Kohl's cash sent to you in your email and a 10% off that you can use online or in store. They don't do that no more. They're doing this now. And this is a dollar for every for every dollar you spend, you get one point, and once you get 100 points, you get a $5 Kohl's Cash reward. And then there's like a surprise, and it says we tell you more, but it's a surprise. There's the back of it. Um, so yeah, I got to download the app, and they'll send you coupons throughout the year. Um, and then also, they're supposed to be sending, it says your first offer is already on its way. So... Can't wait to see what that will be, but it's just a card that you use whenever you shop at Kohl's. So I'm excited to have that because I'm a Kohl's shopper and a big Kohl's fan. And I ended up using my 20% off coupon too. And for everything with my $10 Kohl's cash and those what was it, four things, we ended up spending $40 out of our pocket. So. Um, and then... When we were at Babies R Us, they were giving these away for free while we were at checkout. She was like, do you want these? And I had Caleb and um, Liliana right there, and they both seen them, and they were like, oh. So I was like, yeah, definitely. I'll take them. I was like, you're just giving them away for free? And she said, yeah. It's like, so cute. They're like little wall decals. You peel them off. If you can see, they just peel off, and you can hang them on your wall. I thought that was cute. So I got a Minnie and a Mickey. Caleb loves me. So I'll put one in Lily's room and then one in Caleb's part of the room where his crib is. At, or not his crib. His bed is. My boys have bunk beds. So I think I may put it like on his lower part of the wall where his bunk bed is. And then we were at Kroger the other day. And I had bought this OPI nail polish. And it's a really pretty color. It's like a, it's a really nice fall color. Um... It looks almost like a brown color, but guys, look at the color of my fingernails and look at the shape they're in right now. <laughs> that is from this. Doesn't even look like the color that's in the bottle. They look rough. They look like sandpaper. They feel like sandpaper. They look just really disgusting to me. I'm not a fan of this nail polish. This is called liquid sand. It says it right here on the handle and I had not if I had known that I wouldn't have bought this but it was on sale for four or something and I was like oh that's a pretty fall color yeah I'm gonna get it you know I'm not paying attention when you see something on sale you overlook everything else so I was like oh that's cute so when I got home and I put it on I was like whoa what in the world so I ended up seeing what it said on the handle and I was like huh gotcha so um but when it goes on, it goes on like a light purple, and then as it dries, it gets dark like that. But it doesn't get nearly as dark as what it's showing in the bottle. It's it's just very, very different. I really wish it was more just this solid color. And it's not. So both my hands look really crazy. They feel like sandpaper. 
um, had someone comment on my post where I was talking about it on my personal Facebook fan page or my personal Facebook page, and he he had said, "Well, that would make a perfect back scratcher." <laughs> it's like I guess. Um, so got to pull a little humor out of it. Um, we had also picked her up from Babies R Us some Huggies diapers. I feel like I'm just jumping all over the place in this video. But we got her some of these. I love Huggies diapers, but I don't. I like them because I, I like the quality of the diaper, but I don't care to buy them because I don't do the Huggies rewards. I do the Pampers rewards because Pampers rewards go a longer way. It takes forever to build up Huggies rewards because their point value is like this. It takes literally thousands and thousands and thousands of points before you can redeem something that's really decent. Whereas with Pampers, it doesn't take much. I mean, like for 12, 1800 points, um, you can redeem something really, really nice. And I, you've seen me redeem two things from Pampers Rewards in a couple of my videos. I got Caleb a potty chair for a thousand points and I got him a set of the um, Alex something uh, bath boats. You get three of them. And um, once again, around a thousand points. And uh, I got both of those things in one year. <laughs> so your points build up a lot quicker with Pampers because you're getting more points for what you buy of their product whereas with Huggies like this right here I'm only going to get I think like five or ten points whereas with Pampers you get like I think it's 10 to 20 points per something and on the Huggies wipes unless you buy the box ones you don't get the Huggies rewards with Pampers you get it on everything <laughs> so that's why I do but I don't like Huggies um, then at Walmart today I got a lot of food here <laughs> like I said my husband is on vacation this week and my son Timothy is on fall break so I had to buy some snacks and food so I like to give my kids these as a quick lunch item during the week because it's quicker when you got three kids he's uh, macaroni and cheese, and then a meatloaf meal. I think there's a few more. Yeah. Um, both boys really love this. The chicken nugget ones. And another macaroni. I don't really care for the macaroni in these kind. They're bland. I have to put like a lot of salt and pepper in them. Um, I like the Michelinas much better. And then another chicken nugget one. And then my son Timothy loves the turkey meals. He loves these things. And I actually fed Lily a little bit of this the other day. And she really loved the potatoes and the peas. Because she can eat stuff like this now by herself. Um, and then I fed her some of the... Um, oh, what do they call that? Dressing. <laughs> I fed her some of that because it's really, really soft. So we got them some of those for lunch this week. And then... Um, we got them some corn dogs. My boys love corn dogs. I like to fry these on the stove in some batter, or not batter, um, grease. And they come out with a crunchy outside. It's really, really good. And we got them some chocolate fudge pop tarts for breakfast. And I make my own spaghetti sauce. So we got some tomato paste, a couple cans of that. And then a little jar of the minced garlic. I like this stuff much better than I do the actual whole garlics, which I use those too, but I don't like using them because they make your hands smell really, really bad. <laughs> so I'd rather have it already done like this. But the other way is a little fresher, but this is just as fresh to me sometimes when you want to be quick and not smell like garlic. <laughs> um, and then I'll pick these out. I love me some Chinese. Um, got the vegetable egg rolls. You get eight in here and then you get the sauce pouches too. And they look so good. Mm, I think I'm gonna actually eat me one after I do this video. Don't mind if I do. Then we have got... I'm gonna go ahead and show you the food first so I get everything else. Got it. We ended up getting four of these, but the boys ended up hungry while we were shopping, so they ate them each one. <laughs> but we get them these for lunch too, or just a snack. Um, there's a chicken and then a bologna. A bag of mozzarella cheese. Actually, two bags. And then a couple pouches of the thick and zesty spaghetti sauce. 
I even dice up onions and peppers and real tomatoes in my sauce and put a little bit of sugar in it. It's so good. There's my onion and my pepper. And then um, got a box of lasagna skillet mail. These are really nice to have around when you don't feel like cooking a big meal. And I've never had this before, but I want to try it. My husband picked it up. It's the Chef Boyardee Pizza Maker. And it's the cheese one. So I got that. And then some pepperonis. That'll be a meal we eat one night. And then, well... Don't know how this happened. <laughs> you ever do that? You go through your bags when you get home and you realize there's stuff in there you didn't realize? What's even put in there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well, we got more Pop Tarts now. Um, also, in case you didn't know, Kellogg's does rewards too. Um, just look on the back of Kellogg's participating products and follow the information and you get points and you can redeem those points for fun stuff. I'm actually doing that myself and you can even redeem your points for Scholastic Books. Um, got a thing of some Krispy Kreme donuts. Of course, there's one missing. My husband had to come in here once again and take a donut. Um, those are for breakfast. And then we got this for a meal. It's the Michelangelo's uh, Baked Ziti and Meatballs. Looks really, really good. Never had it before, but it sounds quite tasty. And then I got a quick lunch item. Red bear pizza. I would have done this video in the kitchen if my husband wasn't in there making beef vegetable soup. <laughs> got a couple boxes of spaghetti noodles. And then I got some strawberry syrup and some chocolate syrup. We normally always have chocolate syrup, but I wanted strawberry syrup because I love strawberry flavored milk. That's not the only way I'll drink milk, it's if it's flavored. Got these for Lily, the Waffle Wheels, banana cream. They sound so good. She'll eat those for like breakfast or a snack during the day. And I get her these still. This is beach nut, breakfast on the go, apple, sweet potato, and mixed greens. And then this one's apple mango and carrot puree. And then squash peas and pear blend. And then banana pear and sweet potato. And then banana apple strawberry. Get her those. And then I got her a bunch of other baby foods. Got her the um, chicken and rice. I'm just going to show you a few. The pear zucchini corn. She loves that. Chicken noodle, garden vegetable, mixed vegetables. I ended up buying like eight of these things. Banana orange medley. That sounds really good. And then we got a vegetable chicken. So, got her some of those. Then we got a bag of. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. I love this stuff because I can um, make foil wraps where I take a chicken breast and I put it in tin foil and then I will add potatoes and then a vegetable like green beans or carrots and then fold it up, put some butter in there, season everything, put it in the oven on 350 for about an hour and a half and then take it out and you got your own little meal. So quick and easy. It doesn't require a lot of dishes and that's the best thing. <laughs> Um, let's see, what was that? Something else. Alright, so we've got some cotton swabs. Got some doggy shampoo. This is the best. I love the Oster um, shampoo. It smells really nicely. This is my favorite scent, the Coconut Verbana. Um, it really lasts on your dogs for a few days, whereas other shampoos do not. Like, once you wash your dogs, you can smell it for like the first few hours and then the next day, you don't smell it no more. But this lasts for a few days on them. And uh, I've got a boxer and a Dotson. So, mm, it smells so good. Um, I actually enjoy bathing my dogs when I've got that. Anything of Dawn dish liquid. Mm, let's see. 
Walmart had a lot of things on clearance. Like from food, to dishes, to towels, to toys. <laughs> um, so I came across this and thought, oh, that would be fun for the boys. It's a Crayola Draw Erase board. And they can hang it up on their wall if they want to. And uh, it was only two bucks. Not a bad price. So we got them that. And um, it's just a really fun board to write on. It's not just a solid white board. Electric lime, it says. And then we got them some Crayola Draw Erase markers to go with it. These were three bucks. Um, but you get red, blue, and green, and black in here. Vizimax chisel tip markers. So, I found those. And then I got this. It smells really good. The Magnolia and Cherry Blossom scented plug in oils. Love that. It smells so good. It's got a spring smell, but I like it. And then I had one other bag just appeared on me. There it is. Nope. Well, well, well. Love you guys. I had so much stuff down here. I'm getting lost in it. Here it is. Seen this candle. We were already at the checkout. And I was like, oh my gosh, we better get out of here before we spend more money than what we need to. So I was sitting at the checkout, you know, I'm sitting there looking around at what they have on their little shelves there beside the register and I was like hmm, a candle I love candles I love lighting them um I love things that smell really good and I've seen this one that someone just sat there randomly and it's mold cider and it's a mainstays brand and it's got three wicks on the inside and I smelt it and I was like oh my gosh yes I'm buying I don't know what the price of it is but I was like I'm getting it because it smells so good it's got like a cider smell um just a really pretty fall smell so i got that and then i got a couple of these for fall i got the apple pumpkin wax cubes and then the fall fruit corn eucopia wax cubes if i said that right they smell really really good i gotta smell them again mm, that one smells really really nice it's like a Actually, it's like an apple, but just like what it says, apple pumpkin. It smells just like that. Those two mixed together. This one, it's like a fall fruit, it says. But it's almost got like a gardeny flower smell, too. But it does smell pretty good. And then... I got one bag left, making sure. Oh, we got a bag of potatoes over here. <laughs> Random. Um, got Lily some sleepers. She needed some, so we've got her five. And um, they're all so cute. When I seen this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it. Ever since I showed you guys that Lammy we got her, she's like head over heels for Doc McStuffins. Like Caleb was into Mickey Mouse, Timothy was into Barney and Thomas the Train. And she's into Doc McStuffins, so I had to get her this, and I got them all in 12 months. But she's seen it, and she started kicking it and getting all excited. I was like, yay, I found something she likes. So, got her that. I'm, like, so excited. It's, like, I don't even know what time it is, but I know it's, like, just barely past noon. And I'm, like, ready to just, like, get in PJs. It's a rainy, gloomy day outside here, and it's almost like a Sunday for us because... We just did everything, and we're just cooking veg beef vegetable soup for dinner, and just kind of chilling around the house. So, I think it's going to be a lifetime movie day. No. 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 We went to Redbox. <laughs> I had got her this. I've seen it. Oh, this is so cute. Um, Disney princesses, and it's a nightgown, and it looks like a little frilly dress, but it's so cute. Um, didn't have a price tag on it. The other one, just like it, was 18 months, and it didn't have a price tag on it either, so I was like, well, they'll be able to figure it out at the register. So when I got her this one, I told the lady, I said, well, it's got to be the same price as this one because it's a Disney princess and it's the same kind of, like, material. And, um, this one rang up $9.94. Sophia the first. But this one, on the other hand, rang up $10.94. And the lady looked at it and she said, oh, I can't 
can't be right. She said, it's got to be a two-piece or something for it to be that price, because this one was only non-something. Like, well, this one does have a little more material to it. But she ended up, because it didn't have the tag on it, she had punched in this little code on the, on this part of the tag. Um, she ended up giving it to us for the same price as this one. So I was like, oh, that was so sweet of her. So I um, got her those. And then I got her this one. Hello Kitty, of course. I was looking all through the racks for the Hello Kitty in her size. I thought it was so adorable. Um, look how cute the little pants are. Um, this was, well, Miss Lily decided she wanted to chew the tag off. This was only $6.44. Not a bad price. Especially for it to be Hello Kitty. It was cheaper than the Disney ones. <laughs> And then I got her this one. This one is Girl Animals. And it says, Mom love me, Dad said I'm cute. I think that's what it says. Yeah. I thought this was cute. Um, but I was actually originally looking for the sleepers that they have just like this. And this is the back. But they look just like this where they have the little um, elastic up here at the top. It's the same. Because I had some for Caleb. And not too long ago they actually had them. But they were a Fade of Glory brand. And they were in like these little cardboard box packaging and you could see like the shirt through it and they were only like four or five dollars per outfit but for some reason they didn't have them i don't know if they just quit making them or what but they have these kind and they're granimals and this is actually the first time i've ever seen granimals pajamas i've always seen granimals outfits um, so i thought this was That's everything for this haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, I will talk to you all later. Bye.